Good evening. State Representative Ty Cullen abruptly resigned this afternoon following federal corruption charges. Work now begins to fill his seat. Cullen and former Senate Majority Leader Kalani English are now facing felony charges for allegedly accepting bribes. KITV Forest Jeremy Lee joins us with tonight's top story. Jeremy. Mika and Rick, the federal charge is called Honest Services Wire Fraud, and the U.S. Attorney's Office announced that former Senate Majority Leader Jamie Kalani English and former Representative Ty Cullen used their influence improperly and accepted payments in doing so. The case against Jamie Kalani English centers around cesspools and wastewater management. The charges brought by the U.S. Attorney's Office alleges English received cash, hotel rooms, and other gifts from a contractor whose enterprise would have benefited from a Senate bill meant to appropriate funds for sewage treatment. In one case, person A asked that Mr. English introduce legislation involving cesspools. He agreed to do so and he received $1,000 from Person A. In another instance, Person A then asked Senator English at the time to kill that legislative action, and he received $10,000 from Person A to do so. English is named in documents as working on the cesspool conversion working group. The business owner, named only as Person A, allegedly stood to gain as a subcontractor for a specialized service in regards to cesspools. Person A also allegedly gave Representative Ty Cullen bribes in the form of cash and casino chips starting back in 2014. U.S. Attorney Claire Connors says it all adds up to felony charges of honest services wire fraud. Though prosecutors are careful not to call this an indictment, but an information as the charges may not be seen by a grand jury. In the case of an information, what it generally suggests is that the allegations contained therein are not contested by the defendants. So that when we do proceed to the point of an initial appearance, when they enter their plea, they will already be aware of the charging document and, and the nature of the allegations. The Office of the U.S. Attorney also says that the Honest Services Wire Fraud statute violation could carry with it a penalty up to 20 years in prison. Reporting live, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News tonight.